one. And tonight, I am going to be playing Amnesia, The Dark Descent. For those that care, I do have the lights off in this room, so pretty dark in here. Though I do have the light, obviously, from my television that I'm using as a monitor and from my laptop and from my phone. Though the uh, game is pretty dark, so the monitor isn't giving me much light and the phone has got a dark background, so and that's not giving me much light either. Last time I played this, there was actually a thunderstorm outside. No such luck this time. We don't have that spooky lightning effect going on for me. Uh, but uh, we'll make do. <laughs> I do have... Uh, we have cats, and they sometimes come in here, and uh, when I'm sort of in the middle of, of a game like this, the, they can certainly spook me. I think one time I was doing a scary game, and uh, one of them came up and nudged me on the elbow. Uh, I jumped a little bit, <laughs> actually, when that happened, <laughs> because I wasn't expecting anything to come up and touch me. But... Uh, uh, Anyway, so, continue previously played game, yes. We've been exploring the upper area of the castle. That's, I believe, near the end of last stream we got the... Um, yes, I was looking at a light. We got the, the key to the... Yeah, there's that loon again. We got the key to the wine cellar. So we're kind of wandering around here trying to figure out... I can't remember where the wine cellar is, basically, is the deal. <laughs> I think it might be... Anyway, so we've been wandering around a little bit. Um, as I've said, I, I have played some of this before. And the, the goal, basically, of... Um, no, that's not what I want. Oh, what does that say? Ah, it's up there. Fabrica Ilequatoria. The, it's the refinery. So this is the way to the refinery. Uh, that's not it either. I'm going to have to... Let, let me look at the... Uh, let me look at the inputs. All right, so interact is R1... Lean, throw, run. I don't know why I can't remember all of this stuff. Uh, movement, look. Yeah, so the thing I want... Actually, that's R2, isn't it? Oh, I want to hit myself with the door. No. All right, so the idea is we need to go to the refinery uh, and eventually to the inner sanctum. Uh, so we need to get past this red, goopy stuff. Uh, which is blocking our way. And we need to figure out a way to get rid of the red goopy stuff. We can't... We don't have any tools. Um, and... So... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, a little bit of a coughing pet. So we're hoping to find stuff we can use to get rid of the red goopy stuff. And we have a key to the wine cellar, so maybe there's something in the wine cellar? Is that, is that got a sign up there? Yeah, there's that horrible scratching. Oh, so, so here's the wine cellar. Use the key on the door to unlock it. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Um, I'm doing interact. Uh, inventory. I bet it's inventory. Um, so. Select. 
All right, I think that worked. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. While the caravan moved, the land appeared motionless, but in camp, the hills moved. Hey, thank you, Laurel, for your resubbing with Twitch Prime. Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinderboxes or search for other sources of light. Yes. For instance, there's a window over here. That's giving off light and making me feel less insane, apparently. Wondered why you were seeing an ad. <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, that would explain it. You weren't subbed, apparently. So, I should be seeing other people who subbed at about the same time as you did, resubbing it at some point. Anyway, so, as I was kind of explaining the, what's going on in the game... Whoa! Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left nothing up wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> He's locked you permanently in a wine cellar, dude. I would not be uh, laughing about that. All right. So, yeah, there's that scratching sound that I hate so much. Um, twins up seven to six. Cool. Ah. Uh, oh, there seems to be some light over here. Wow, that's unfortunate. That was really uh, not a good sound. I mean, the guys he locked in the cellar should have been dead long ago. We, we read a note about that, where is the people he had assisting him, he basically was getting tired of them, and so he figured he'd lock them in the wine cellar until they died. And uh, that's Alexander who did that. If an enemy is near, stay out of sight. Thanks for this hint. Stay out of sight and hide in the darkness. Make sure to turn off your lantern square if possible. Um, really, I, I'm so happy that you have given me this knowledge of what to do when there are enemies nearby. I really wish you hadn't because it means there's probably enemies nearby. Uh... All right. Um, no. Let's go stare at a light for a little while. This guy really, really doesn't like the darkness. And he, he basically starts going nuts if he has to stand in the darkness for very long. So part of the mechanic of this game is you just go and you stare at a light for a little while. And... Uh, Hope that he becomes a little less insane. Um, or wonky, or whatever. So, let's see. Hello, Naftpool! How are you doing? I, I saw... I, I didn't actually check out your channel, but I did see that you were maybe singing earlier. <laughs> Uh, how was the singing going? Or are you still doing it? Singing with Baby Pool. Wow, okay, that's cool. He carried me the whole way. Well, good for him. All right, so there are three doors. This is the map to the wine cellar. There's the stairway that led down directly opposite. There's barrels to, if you go down and to the right, that's that way, I think. There should be tools, and um, that room doesn't look to have anything in it. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. So, tools, that would be cool. I really do not like this scratching sound. Um, yeah, that room appears to have nothing in it, but this is the room where the screaming was on the other side of the door, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so that was the room that we've been in already. Oh, and there's something red dripping from the ceiling. Your sanity is dangerously low. Make sure to stay in light and try to make progress. Taking care of him at the moment. Maybe lurking at it. That's fine. Um, he might not want... You might not want to have him watching this game. It's kind of spooky. I mean, it's not really especially violent. Usually, you, you avoid things that might cause violence. Yes, I need to get back up to the light for a little bit here. Um... But yeah, it's a very it's 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 a nightmare inducing game. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Nah, he isn't watching. Good. Alright. Um oh wow, look at my brain. It's all red and flaring. Um Is this not enough light? I thought this was enough light. It's kind of irritating if this isn't enough light. Because it's lit! There's light here. I'm in the light, dude. Calm down. It's certainly a lot more lit up than... Uh... Nope, my brain is still all flaring and red and stuff. Um, I really don't want to start using my lantern already, though. Uh, huh. Well, fine. Let's try using the lantern. Will that cause me to be less red and flary, maybe? Alright. So, this room has tools on it in the uh, no that's not what I wanted to do alright there and there yeah those those bugs running around on everything that's kind of an indication that you're having a problem but, fortunately, I lit a candle. What is this? I picked up Calamine. What the heck is that? Well, that wasn't good. Um, well, at least I woke up from that. So, let's try... Staring at a lit candle for a while. What's in my inventory? So I have the fuel and the, a jar of calamine. Alright. I would like to find... Oh, let's actually get that lantern up. Yeah, I love that creaky sound, which might indicate that... No, there. Picked up the tinderbox. Okay, so that's just... I can pick that up and do stuff with it. But it's not going to go into my inventory. Um, wow, that gets really dark very fast, doesn't it? Um... Anything here? More tools. I can't really do anything. Okay, what is that sound? Um, at least the stuff that... What am I... It's like I can't even walk over that. Uh, oh! This barrel contains... Refilled lantern with a few drops of oil. Yay! really walk over this. I have to jump over it. Great. A wonderful chittering sound. And... So, what the heck happened? It was like there was a cave-in or something once I... I was doing something in here, and now... Oh, let's do this. That might help a little bit. Oh, is it like... 
Ah, the door got uh, jammed when I picked up the calamine with this boulder, with all these boulders that somehow fell from the ceiling, yet the ceiling looks just fine. Um, awesome. So, I'm looking up there, and it looks like maybe I'm supposed to go up there somehow? Maybe that's how I get out of here? Because I can't get out through the door anymore. Well, alright. On the other hand, I'm not really worried about monsters coming in. Because, hey, the door is blocked with a giant boulder. But yeah, it looks like maybe something up there. How is my inventory, by the way? Okay, I still have a little bit of... Still have a little bit of oil. So, how do I get up there? Or, the last time there was a puzzle like this, it was that I had to find a lever. Also, this area looks boarded up, so I, maybe it's possible to use tools on that? And yes, it is true that I have played through this part of the game before. Alright, let's light this candle. But, it was a long time ago. I really don't remember much about what it was that I was supposed to be doing here. doesn't seem to do anything interesting. Okay. It's a wood plane, a hammer, and some wood. Yeah. Contains no oil. I know that. Hello, Dragon Adior. You are here. You're going to be quiet today, though. Okay. That is fine. Is there something back there? No, I think that's just part of the shelving. Now, some of the puzzles in here have to do with, like, stacking boxes and stuff like that, so I might have to do some of that, but I'm just gonna take them down off the shelf first. Others have to do with finding a, a lever in a very dark area, like, but there doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait. No, that's just part of the shelving unit. Uh, and I can't pick this up, can I? It's not letting me interact with that. Alright, there's a bunch of boards on the wall, but I don't... I mean, that looks like it's just boarding up a blank area. Whoa. Oh, I stood on the barrel. The barrel rolled. Nice barrel physics, guys. Yeah. But, uh... have to say, oh, great. Uh, I enjoy the uh, sound design on this game. They, they do a really good job of making it sound very spooky. 
I mean, there's always this... Right now, there's a low droning. Um, which is quite scary. Uh, earlier, there was... I, I mentioned it. There was a, like, scratching sound. Um, yeah, they're definitely, that definitely looks like a platform that I might be able to get up to at some point. Um, that taste, that fragrance, the mascus rose. Oh, okay. I think, uh, at one point the guy, oh. Hold down R2 while moving with the left stick to push. Press L1 for a strong push in the position you face. All right. Okay. Well, then I wasn't meant to try and get up to the upper level. I just have to move these rocks out of the way. These are movable rocks. Cool. Um... Maybe that was this whole room was just to learn that mechanic? I don't know. I would like to see what's up there on that upper platform, though. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything on here. So yeah, the moaning, the scratching sounds, it all is very spooky sounding. pronunciation, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, it's always always uh, a question as to whether or not I... Come on. Alright, so... No, what are you doing? Is there something in your way here that I don't know about? Alright, so... And let's go find another box. I'm going to see if it's possible to do something having to do with that upper area before I leave this room. Um, oh, that was, well, um, nope, not there. Okay, so, get this a bit out of the way. I'm sorry if this is boring for people. I'm just, uh, that's not how I wanted that. There. Um, yeah, up on, yeah. Three-dimensional box manipulation with the... PS4 controller. Nope. There. All right. Um. Okay, that was a good try, but it wasn't letting us on top of the uh, the shelving unit. Hello, not not stork. How are you doing? Huh. If it won't let us up there, then I don't think we can get up. 
I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing just fine. Probably spending way too much time in this room. Yeah, some scary some scary whispers there. <laughs> oh yay. Alright, so that was the room that's marked with tools. Um, what the heck was that sound? going to need the lantern in here. How about, can we light this candle? Yes. Alright, so we picked up calamine and cuprite. Um, which I... I'm the freak show. Is this game worth getting? Got a little dollar, so I'm looking for a you know, I I have not... This is my first... Well, okay, it's my second time playing this game. The first time I didn't really get very far in it. Um, but if you like sort of spooky games, scary games, it is a very good one. It's not... It's not like Resident Evil or Silent Hill where you can sometimes, like, attack your opponents. It's all uh, hide from things and run away, that sort of thing. That sort of uh, scary game. But it is, uh, it's good for what it is. It's, it's a very good, uh, you know, stealth, runaway kind of scary game. I would, I would definitely recommend it. Though, as I said, I have not... I have not done a complete playthrough of it ever. I, there's a, uh, I, you know, I think I've gotten about a third of the way through it. That's about all. It's a rock solid horror game. Absolutely worth the price. Okay. Never played it though. Well, I mean, if you've watched, if you've watched a playthrough of it, um, then, you know, that's a valuable... Oh, and I... Wow, I think the door actually just opened through me there. So... Alright. Um... Yeah. But I... I, I kind of like spooky games. Alright, use the laudanum to increase your health. To drink it, pick it inside the inventory. Okay. Thank you. Oh, shit. Um... I, I, yeah, that was, uh, uh, that was not good. There was somebody in there with me. There are, yeah. So, Alexander, uh, our opponent, basically, or mentor at one point, I used to watch Pewds play it way back, so it'd bring back memories. Well, all right. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite as shouty as, as, as PewDiePie is, <laughs> but uh, uh, hopefully you will enjoy my playthrough style. Anyway, so that that is one of the people, or formerly people, that uh, Alexander, uh, our uh, well, I mean, kind of mentor, but also now kind of our opponent, uh, has has changed. Uh, he considers uh, human beings basically uh, about the same as he would maybe a cow or a sheep. He, do he, he does not think of them as people, but as, as material, um, which I don't understand why this guy... I mean, I know that our, our, our character 
was absolutely terrified of what was chasing him. But, uh, all right, we need something to step up on so we can get up to that upper shelf. All right, well, um, is that thing still down here? There we go. All right. Um, you're amazing, Kevin. Trust me, you, <laughs> you're doing stellar, and I don't uh, trust this Alexander fella. No. So, yes, he is... He th uh, Daniel was absolutely terrified of the thing that he, he was being chased by. And even just from the parts that we've read so far... Uh, my theory is what he found was the remains of a spaceship that crash landed on Earth thousands of years ago and the security system was still working. So he actually took a part of the ship and the security system has been chasing him all over the place. So he tried to find somebody, anybody who would have any ability to help him out and he finally hit upon this Alexander person um, I think actually Alexander sent him a letter or something I don't I don't remember if we've gotten that part of this story yet how they hooked up anyway but it turns out Alexander is a really well I mean a really horrible maybe you could call him a person but uh He's not normal. Like, he's many centuries old. Um, and... We don't know yet why he's been able to live for many centuries, but we're pretty sure from the stuff that we've read, there were hints there saying, oh, come on, pick this up. No, do I have to crouch? I guess I had to crouch. Um, we're pretty sure he's many centuries old, so uh, maybe not human. Um, all right, so... I don't know if I'm lighting too many torches, or if I shouldn't be lighting torches at all, because we just recently saw one of these shambling horrors in here. Um, all right. Oh, there's another... Oh, come on. You're a little too sensitive. All right. There's all these creaking sounds. I don't want to hear creaking sounds. It's scaring the snot out of me. <clears throat> but at least there's lights down here, so you can stare at a light occasionally. Yeah, this 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 bug effect. I really don't like that. I think that's kind of indicating his mental status, but. Oh, did I run out of oil again? Let me look. Yep, I am. Out. Well, okay, again. I think that's actually the first time I've run out of oil. What is this? That's calamine. Fuel for the lantern. Times six. Um, there. All right. Good. That, that makes me feel better. Calamine, cuprite, laudanum, which we're supposed to use to to help our, our mental and orpiment um, which is what we just picked up oh and there's another tinder box um, which is a really weird mechanic if you know how things actually work I mean you wouldn't use tinder you'd use if there's something that's easily lightable, you would use a flint and steel to spark on it. I don't think you normally use tinder to light a candle or a torch, both of which are supposed to be easily uh, lit. But, okay, that's nothing. I thought maybe it was something. All right. Oh. <laughs> so, um... I don't remember how many things 
I am supposed to be picking up in here, but three sounds like it might be the right number. Oh, and there's that scratching sound again. Um, so I am going to see if I can... Oh, get any further here. Let's head back out to the answer. He sat down by the Casbah wall, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. the actual entrance hall for a little bit because I'm hoping this will help reduce my insanity. Oh, oh, light pouring from the ceiling. Well, my brain looks fine. That's good. Um, so, let's see. We just came from there, but there's two directions to go there, isn't there? So, let's go... I think we went to the left, which is where the wine cellar was. Laboratory! After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was a matter of reserving a, a cabin on SS Hortensia headed for London. Yes, that's not going to save you, dude. The thing that was chasing you is just going to keep chasing you. As I said, I have a feeling the thing was, that was chasing him was like a... A security system for an alien spaceship. Um, whoa! What the heck? I didn't make myself move quite like that. Um, is this not enough light for you, dude? What's your brain looking like? A little inflamed. You're looking at a light, dude. Come on. And there's like a torch lit down here, so... Really? How scared can you be? Look at this door. Oh, my goodness. Uh huh. Well, something was disturbed or disturbing. Look at the light. Be calmed. Okay, so, well, no, we're still inflamed. What the heck? Maybe it was that sound. I don't know. Picked up some more oil. Yay! All right, what do we got down here? A pile of goo that might have been parts of humans at one point. A shelving unit that's knocked down. So from the last time I played this, I did get further than this the last time. I seem to remember, like, is this the room where the the stairway collapses and you have to figure out a way to get back up again. All right. Going down seems like a good idea, doesn't it? All right. So that's just an alcove with a bunch of boxes which we might need later. There's candles already lit in here. All right. So this... Oh, I might need fourth. No, that looks like... <laughs> you should do Twitch Sings, Kevin. Um, you know, I've thought about it. Um, I think this is the formula that tells us what we... Why am I trembling so much? Dude, there's a bunch of candles and a torch lit in this room. I've thought about doing Twitch Sings. Uh, I do like singing a lot. But, uh... I don't know. So, man, you are trembling a lot. Chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar, which is why we were just 
in the wine cellar picking up a bunch of chemicals. Um, is that it? Yes, that's just telling us why the chemicals were in the wine cellar. Um, somewhere in here there should be like a formula or let me let me actually light that. Maybe he'll be less trembly then. I'm hoping I, I didn't miss something. I really want to have gotten all of the necessary chemicals from more oil! Yay! How are we doing on oil? We've got uh, our lantern is mostly full and we have five jars of oil. So we're doing just fine on oil. Um, what is that? Is that something to take? No. That's just if we want to throw something. Yeah, so that's the water area down there. And last time I played, I don't think I got past the water area. So if if you've seen people play this before, there's a water area that you go through and you're like, well, this is awesome. There should be more cuprite. There should be more cuprite. Yes. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I don't think I have aquafortis. Aquafortis. So do we have to, like, look at various things and the formula comes back to us? Is that how this works? Uh, I wish I remembered this better. Um, okay. Yeah. One thing I do remember is there's stuff hidden all over the place. All right, so... The aquafortis is in here somewhere? Oh, what's this? Picked up chemistry pot. Yay! So exciting. Oh. What was... Yeah, that was one thing about layers of fear that I didn't like. There would be these desks with, like, a chair in front of them. And you couldn't move the chair, so you couldn't open the things... Open the desk. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Okay, who is saying that? Is that Daniel or Alexander? I don't know. Um, all right, what? What the heck? All right. Okay, so every time I, I touch that, I get this. Twins win! Yay! And, oh, and back to Twitch things. I actually do have a reasonably good singing voice. Um, I don't know if Laurel will vouch for that. I'm just here with important baseball updates for Kevin. I don't know if Laurel will vouch for, for, for the quality of my singing voice, but, uh, I, I think I have a decent singing voice. Dancing, you know, I only dance for comedic effect, but singing, I, when I want to, I can actually sing well. I was in choir uh, in grade school uh, the two years that they allowed us to be in choir in junior high and all through high school and then even into college. So I've done a lot of singing. You would love to hear that. Okay. Well, Kevin was in swing choir. I was not in swing choir. My wife keeps saying that I was in swing choir. I was never in swing choir. I have the the uh, high school yearbooks to prove that I was not in swing choir. I was in traveling choir, uh, which is an after-school activity uh, where you go various places with the choir and sing. All right. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis. 
in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that it will find that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, so this is basically telling you to use the calamine, the orpiment, the cuprite uh, to create a detergent to get rid of that red goopy stuff. Totally wore sequin vests and hats and danced around and sang. Yep, I insist on believing this. Even though it's not true, you can continue to believe it, I suppose. It is not true. Um, I, the choir director asked me to be in... I don't remember even what it, what that was called. I don't think it was called swing choir, but, but uh, it basically was swing choir. They dance around and sing uh, while wearing costumes. I did not um, join them. Uh, in fact, he wanted me, my junior year, he wanted me to join both the Traveling Choir and the Swing Choir, uh, but my self-confidence is so low that I, um, had, yeah, I really didn't want to. <laughs> so other than touching that, which gives me that memory... I, I'm pretty sure it's Alexander's memory, because I think I remember something about him be, being like an alien trapped on Earth, and... Alright, so... Four different chemicals are needed to continue. Um, unfortunately, I only have three different chemicals. Wow, just standing here makes my character, like, shiver. That's kind of weird. I mean, he's usually scared when there's no light, but uh, this might be the place where he mixed the thing that, that took his memory away? I don't know. Um, so, Daniel's note to self, Wilhelm's contract, local folklore. I think we've read all that regarding closing of the wine cellar. Chemical relocation, early alchemy experiments. Right. Uh, Daniel's Diary, Algeria 1. Isn't it great? He... <laughs> the the, the uh, software basically couldn't fit the very last line on here. So they had to go to a second page for that. Daniel's Diary. Um, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Uh, think glow. Next thing I was grading of stone. And once again, almost the entire diary page. Mementos. Evidence in the library, lab laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can... Oh my goodness, excuse me. Can create a powerful acid. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path in the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Why, yes. By the four chemicals combined into a powerful acid. Unfortunately, I only have three chemicals... And I'm not sure where to get the fourth one. Probably back in the wine cellar. Um, so, let's see about... Where are we? We're here. Okay, that, that didn't do what I wanted it to. Um, but do I have it in my inventory still? No. So, it put it there. Oh, that's just a... That's just a valve. Alright, so I need to fill... These four things. Uh, then I think I turn this valve to turn on the heat. And then turn these valves... To... Alright, so what I need to do is get... Um, figure out where the heck the aqua something or other, the aqua fortis is, or the aqua regia. Um, I don't think it's in this room. I think I have to go back to the 
Yeah, nothing here is like glowing like if it was something important. Something that I need to pick up. Down there. So I might have to go back to the wine cellar. Yeah, these are these are things that I can throw around, but nothing that a would help me. No, I didn't want squat. There. No. That didn't help either. So I don't see anything on top of any of those. Or up above on any of those. Because sometimes the answer to the thing is climb on some boxes. Because it'll be on top of something. But I'm not seeing anything up there now. Alright. So. I am going to go back and poke around in the wine cellar, I guess. What? What is this place? Uh, Alright. I'm pretty sure that I wasn't really saying that. That's probably a memory. Um, Alright. Let's bring out that lantern again. Okay, so... That's not helpful! None of this is helpful! Collapsed areas, let's... Lantern away and go back upstairs! Alright. Anyway, so yes, uh, Twitch things, I, I would be interested in doing that, though I think my nerves would get in the way. I'd be very nervous about singing, um, because obviously all of, all of what I was talking about before was group singing, so... I didn't feel quite as on the spot as I would for uh, Twitch Sing. I'd love to join. Join what? Oh, me singing? <laughs> okay. Well. All right. What is over here? Have I been over here before? Seems to be some white, at least. Oh, it's more red ooky stuff. Yes, I think I've been down this corridor. Not a very useful corridor because the door is blocked by that red hooky stuff. Just trying to remember what I've done so far. Alright, so this is the area of the castle that I spent a whole bunch of time wandering around. I did some choir in grade school. I kind of dropped it for the same reason, nerves and such, but it's something I do love. Well, that's cool. Um, old archives. No, I don't think I want to go back to the old archives. What was up past these stairs? It's just that there was that scary thing in the uh, in the wine cellar and I don't know if it was an apparition or something real but it was it's making me hesitant to go back there alright so whoa that hurt um what the heck oh I'm standing in red ooky stuff well, I don't want to do that. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. Yike, what the heck? Yes, that's the red stuff. The red ooky stuff, if you walk over it or stand on it, it uh, damages you. Um, so yes, it's kind of a jump scare, but... Uh, Alright, have we been... This is where we were before, right? Rare books and such. All right. So we really don't... There's nothing here for us, as far as I know. I, you know, I really wish that they allowed you to move curtains in here, because I would open all the curtains. It's just way too dark. But, uh, they do not. 
when when a game gives you something obvious like a curtain to be moved, I wish it would allow you. To... Yes, it spooked you. <laughs> Fortunately, I'd, I'd walked over that red stuff before. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. All right, so I'm going to raise this. You can see all of this red crud here. All right, so this whole area is blocked off by this red stuff, so there's no real getting past it here. All right, so that's why I don't want to go back there. All right, close. I put my lantern away. Um, so, yes, there's the upper area that I've already pretty much completely explored, which is what's past there. Um, there's a short hallway here that ends in a door that's covered with that red stuff. I... Uh, so is this actually a different thing? It won't budge. Ah! That's the reason that I'm not going past here, is because that, that door won't budge. Alright. So it's back into the wine cellar, which you might have noticed... Yeah. <laughs> I am not enthusiastic about going into, but if it's the only place where I can find that fourth ingredient that I need, I will go back in there. Get some spring cleaning up in here. Yes, well, unfortunately, the, the stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. Yeah. The big stone slab that he had those people lift so that he could go into the scary area uh, was not meant to ever be lifted again. It was to seal that place off because the people who uh, sealed it realized that uh, they couldn't figure out what the heck was going on and I'm pretty sure it kept killing people so <laughs> let's seal it off with a big stone slab so people will understand don't go in there. All right. Uh, yes, hit myself in the face with the door. And so somewhere down in this wine cellar, maybe hidden somewhere, like behind a barrel even it could be, is this fourth ingredient that we need. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, okay, it's not letting me jump on the barrel because the ceiling's too low. Just put it back. Put some <laughs> rocks. Perfect. Yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, he foolishly, I mean, it was he's a 19th century British dude. They think they're masters of the world. Um, that's kind of part of, of the, the aesthetic of the H.P. Lovecraft stories. Finding out that you're not master of the universe, you're not the center of the world, um, is the most, yeah, this is very true, is, is the most horrifying thing to that kind of person. It's like, there are alien beings who are ancient and powerful, far more powerful than I am and far more ancient than the British Empire? Oh my goodness, how could this ever have been true? You know, I think we looked around in here and unless it's on those um, those upper platform areas, I mean, I suppose that's possible, but I don't know how to get up there. I tried, well, let's try this. All right. No, that doesn't look like it's going to help. Because that goes all the way over to there. How about... Up here? I mean, doesn't that look like something that maybe you're supposed to be able to get up to? No. It's not going to let you climb up there. I'm pretty sure of that. 
let's see. Can we pick this up and put it uh, on there? No, it's not. All right. Then can we climb up a little higher, maybe? No. I want to be on the chair. No, that does not look like... I mean, right there, maybe? Uh, some of these puzzles they have are... Hey, did all of those boxes put themselves back on the shelves? Because <laughs> I took them off the shelves. <laughs> Pretty sure they put themselves back on the shelves. All right, so yes, up there. Oh, man. How do you get up there? Well, just step over it. You shouldn't have to jump. Movement mechanics kind of irritate me when they do stuff like that. It's like, okay, it's like a foot high. Just walk over it. But no, you're required. I can actually push that? All right. Um, hmm. Well, that's interesting. Uh, okay, this red stuff is supposed to be a clue, right? out more easily? I don't know. Alright. I'm not seeing anything up there. I mean, there's these barrels and such, but nothing looks... Nothing looks glowy like it would indicate uh, I'm supposed to do something with it. Get off this rock. Don't I? It wouldn't even let me just walk off the rock. Anyway, so, so yes, this guy, the greatest horror in the world to him is he's not the master of the universe, even though he's a, a British dude. Everything else is supposed to bow to him. Well, I didn't go through this door because there was screaming. I think this is the door that there was screaming. So maybe this is the door I need to go through. Ugh. What would I want to do with that? Um, wow. I mean, it's letting me grab it, but it's not picking anything up, so that was weird. Anyway. Yeah, you can see these guys that were locked down here didn't want to be locked down here. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right. Oh, feels like my chest is going well he poisoned some of the wine dude my god Wilhelm, do something yeah nothing's gonna get done except we're not getting out of here you really How can aren't. you say that Alexander you piece of shit let us out of here <laughs> These get, this is like a classic deal with the devil sort of situation. These guys thought, you know, ha ha ha, we're putting one over on Alexander. Nope. Well, that's interesting. It must be because it's like slanted or something. All right. Those poor guys, yes, except, I mean, they were kidnappers and murderers for hire. They, they let Alexander hire them. They would kidnap people who he would then experiment on. All right, so maybe, uh, oh, that's just another tinderbox. That's not what I wanted at all. And 
they knew what was happening. Well, I mean, they didn't understand why he was doing all of these experiments, but they knew that people were being turned into monsters, basically, tortured and killed, and they didn't care. Um, but eventually, he, well, there were, like, investigations, and they were getting close, and so, uh, he just killed these guys this way. He, he locked them in the wine cellar with poison wine, and they died. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid. See, he knew what was going on, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. See, this guy was not a good person. He really wasn't. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were men, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. Nope, dude, you do not deserve forgiveness. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. They were not poor guys. They knew what they were doing. They were evil men. All right. There's the Aqua Regia. Finally. That's the fourth ingredient. And yes, I was very hesitant to come in here, but... Uh, I had to to get everything out of here. Good night, Daft Pool. You have a good night. And I will see you again soon, I am sure. All right, so, yes, terrible, horrible things happened to bad people. And, uh, Alexander, the worst of the lot, is the person that we are trying to kill here. We want to get to so we can kill him. Yeah, I'd forgotten... So up in the laboratory, there's that grate in the floor in the watery area. Excuse me. Watery area down below. I had forgotten that there was that <coughs> grate there that sort of gives you a uh, foreshadowing of the watery area. Kelvin, 1312. Uh, Kevin, you're pretty cute. Well, I am, I'm not streaming with a camera right now, so I'm not sure how you can tell if I'm cute or not. But thank you for the compliment. Personally, I... Telepathy! <laughs> Totes cute. Well, you're my wife, so I'm not surprised you think I'm cute. He sat down by the Casbah wall, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. We already read that one. You just know. Well, as they say, thank you. Yeah, that's a really wonderful sound. Inspires a lot of confidence, doesn't it? Oh! So, whoa, what the heck? 
Let's go into the laboratory. Onwards, yes. After enduring three days in Algiers, we've read this one already. So yeah, that one is him trying to escape this thing. Uh, if you if you remember the the part about the shredded something, that was his tent that got shredded by this thing that has been following him. I'm pretty sure. All right. Some point. At some point, I swear I remember these stairs uh, falling apart. And then we have to use all this stuff that's down here to, like, build a makeshift uh, way to get back up. But uh, that hasn't happened yet. I think it happens after you uh, after you a actually make the formula, it kind of triggers it the way things like that happen in games. Anyway, so yes, here's a foreshadowing. This water, we will be in that water area eventually. And I'm pretty sure that once I get past the water area, I won't remember anything, because I think that's the... What the heck? You're shivering every single time. Uh, so, we have four ingredients. It's going to suck. Yes. <laughs> There's like a monster in the water, and you're I think you're leaping from like box to box. It kind of reminds me of, the, of there's a watery area in Outlast where you're being chased by this... Uh, mental patient all the time. Um, anyway, so let's select this and use that. And then I think this is how this works. It's terrifying. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's why I didn't finish the game. is because that area was so scary I couldn't keep going. But I have, I feel more of an obligation now that I'm playing it for stream, so, uh, look forward to me actually completing it <laughs> this time. It's going to probably be quite a while from now, I don't, I'm almost positive it's not going to be tonight, but, uh, uh, in a future stream, I will be, oh my goodness. Yes, I beat Outlast, I beat, um, and I beat uh, Outlast Whistleblower. So I beat both of those. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that what I just did is what, what caused the collapse of the stairs, but I'm not positive about that. Then you can do this. Yes, I can. I feel confident. All right, so... Hold down R2 and do a circular motion with the right stick to turn the wheel. The wheel will turn in the same direction as you rotate. Okay. All right. Ta-da! picked up pot of acid. Yay! So, I, I think I've mentioned this in a previous stream, but there's a second... Well, there's, there's a DLC for this, I believe, called Justine, and there's a second Amnesia. Uh, uh, amnesia, a machine for pigs. I, I tried to play Amnesia, a machine for pigs, but... They're the pig human creature hybrids were just so creepy that I all right. Um The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Uh okay. So yes, I I said it like three times already. You make the formula, and suddenly, for some reason, the stairs collapse. Um, I have been at this for a little over an hour. I, I am going to take a very brief break uh, to stretch my legs, stretch my back, etc., and uh, get a drink of water, 
and I will be right back to continue this very spooky game. I am back and refreshed. I've had a little bit of water there. Ha! Just checking some stuff. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go back to the game. All right. So the thing we need to do is build some sort of platform or, or ramp or something like that that will get us from here to there. Um, and I think we could do it with this. You can use objects to reach hard to get places. Well, thank you for that wonderful hint. Um, uh, yeah. Whoa. Ha ha ha! Well, <laughs> that, I didn't manipulate that so that it would do that. It just sort of did it on its own. Like, I'm bored with you clamoring around like this. I will just do this for you. Ta-da! All right. Well, that was 10 times easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought there'd be all sorts of dinking around with it. <laughs> the cloth smelled of desert and then the pieces lay scrambled on top. Yeah, that I think is when something attacked his tent. 
Yeah, that was a really wonderful sound. Great. Um. All right, and we want to go back up here. Whoa. Yeah, there's this red goo all over the place now, but we don't need to care about that. We just want to go down here and use the acid. Actually, I can't remember if using it on that door up there helps us at all or not. Uh, but I know we need to use it down here, so here we go. And notice these door. I'm not closing these doors. The doors kind of close themselves. All right. So, no, I don't want to touch that. What I want to do, where is our arrow? There it is. It is filled with acid. So, use the acid on the red goo. Trophy earned. Alchemist. Yay. Yes, I, I like to get the trophies. Do we have a pot of acid anymore? No. Um... So I am going to see if we can get back there, fill that pot again with that stuff, um, and then come back to this door and see if we can open it. I, I don't think so. I don't think we can get back there. I don't think we can refill the pot, and I don't think Getting the red stuff out that door helps. I don't know what the heck that sound was. It's like hissing cockroaches or something? Anyway, but I'm going to try it all. Worth a shot. That's what I think. Oh, there's so much of this red goo here. All right. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged his, for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. I'm not sure what that adds to um, the story, but uh, whatever. All right, we're back down here. Uh, that's not where we want to go. Once again, I would like to say the sound design on this game is great. It's amazingly good. It is super spooky. All right, so. Turn that on again. Oh, wait. No, we want to um, choose this, put it there. No object to use item on. What? Uh, select. What the heck? Cannot use the item this way. Well. No, select it and use it. What the heck? Why will you not put it back there? Oh, that's irritating. It won't let me put the chemistry pot. I select it. I try to use it, which is what happened the last time that it put it there, and now it won't put it there. Oh. Well, let's see. select. How about this? No object to use the... Well, I didn't tell you to use it. I told you to throw it. Weird. Yeah, it's, it's obviously set up so that you can only use it the one time. Oh, that's kind of annoying. But I guess it means we can't try to get through that other door. Come on, get up here. Yeah, I don't know if they changed the mechanic for that that ramp thing. 
or what? Because I remember the last time it took a lot of uh, a lot more effort to um, get that set up like that. It didn't just sort of fall into place on its own. Anyway, on to the refinery. Right. Let's do some jumping here. Nope, we don't want to go down there. Where is the stairway? Uh, it is so dark in here. Alright, there's... Whoa! There's the wine cellar. Okay. We're not going to get through that other way. It's just a stone. Walk over it, dude. Who keeps closing these doors? there. I shouldn't need my lamp. Into the refinery we go. It became impossible to avoid. Oh, we just read this. That's probably from when he was in Algeria. is absolutely um, wow what it the heck sure is dark in here yes and there's a good reason for it but you can light the lamp now if you wish what's the reason for the darkness that is stay close be careful <laughs> not to stray what's the reason why is it so dark Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Because there are scary things in the dark, Daniel. That's why. Things he doesn't want you to see. Alright, how am I doing on tinderboxes? 13? Well, that's a reasonably large number. Uh, no, it's like that. There we go. Um, all right, so it's telling you go straight. Though, actually, we're supposed to be following um, the red stuff, the red drippy stuff. Yeah, listen to those sounds. That's just absolutely... Ugh. How's my brain looking? A little glowy, but not too bad. All right. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Be careful when enemies are near. Crouching in the darkness makes you a lot harder to spot. Well, thanks a lot, game. I love it when you give me hints like that. Because it means that there's somebody nearby. And I can't see anything. If I stand... Just listen to those sounds. Or does it? Yes. Well... <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> yeah. All right.
Yeah, hearing creaking footsteps while you're standing still, that's not scary at all, is it? Whoa! Crouch in the dark. Terrifying monsters are terrifying me. All right. Yes, I understand. Stare at a torch for a while, dude. You have every reason to be terrified. There are things that used to be humans down here. Okay, do I actually have to open this door more? Apparently so. Darkness. Closing in. Alright, I'm probably using too many of these. Picked up oil, that's good. These tinder boxes. Get up. Wait. Okay. There, like that. Um, all right. Table, jump onto that, and then get a tinder box. All right, and stir at a candle for a while, dude. Maybe it'll make you feel better. All right. These are some really, really scary sounds. <laughs> I do not like these sounds. All right, so there's, how am I doing for oil? I'm doing okay for oil. Tinder boxes are a little low. Um, so there's two doors other than the one that I've already been out through. Man, no, that's not, that, that was the button I wanted. Hey, Mr. Mister, how you doing? I am scaring myself silly with this game. Yes, you have a VIP badge. You are welcome. You deserve it. You've been very supportive of my stream. That's my way of thanking you. Come on, choose the lot. No, there we go. How are you doing tonight, and what game are you playing? I am playing... Did that door just open all by itself? Isn't that awesome? Uh, and by awesome, I mean terrifying. Um, this is Amnesia the Dark Second Descent. June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. <laughs> An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it, 
lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Um, some of the notes uh, Daniel will read out loud. Uh, some of the stuff uh, doesn't get read. Um, well, I'm really annoyed. My uh, so I, I look at my chat in on my live dashboard page on my Chromebook and on my phone, and every once in a while my live dashboard page goes away. Like it it doesn't disappear, but it it loses network connection. And so sometimes I don't see the chat on that page, but fortunately I, ha yeah, Twitch likes the break. I have my phone next to my Chromebook, so I'm seeing, oh, excuse me again, I'm seeing um, the chat for uh, my stream on my phone that's not sometimes showing up on my live dashboard page which is where I actually prefer to read it because it's easier to read. Um, so yes, my, my live bat dashboard page just welcomed me to my chat room. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, Dream Crusher. Well, that was not my intention. I'm just trying to be realistic. Uh, do I want to keep going or do I want to go to... Um, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. No. Do I want to go back to... Th the previous area like back into here because there's two doors from there hello Unker how are you doing um Good, how about you? I am doing fine. I am scaring myself silly. Um, wow, there's that sort of scratchy sound again that I do not like at all. Oh, something's like pulsating. Isn't that wonderful? Also, our, one of our cats is complaining to me about the fact that I'm in the room that he considers to be his. Uh, all right. Oh. Pick up that tinderbox. So, if I'm remembering correctly, this is actually the one of those two other doors that yeah. So I think all of this area kind of connects together. Oh, there's another tinderbox. An oh, yay. Did that door just close on its own? I believe it did. What the heck? What was that sound? Uh, okay. I'm doing fine. Not terrified or anything. It's all just fine. Just stare at the candle for a bit, dude. Yeah, look, his 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 mind is flaring red. He's not happy. So, yes, it's it's a light. Look at this wonderful light. That doesn't seem to be helping. I might have to take some laudanum. All right. Um, 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. 
I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Actually, I'm pretty sure they don't have otherworldly properties. They just are from a technology that's way beyond 1839 England. So, um... Uh, nothing that this Daniel dude would ever be able to understand. Is there... Ah, ha, ha, ha! Yeah, they hide these things. Come on. All right, I'm going to crouch. Is that going to do it for me? Yes, there we go. Rats in the cellar. Yeah, that's possibly what's making that sound. And my live dashboard is not showing me chat again. Okay, I didn't know that about glass. Not going to lie, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I don't remember if it's actually true or not. It's something I know that people have believed for centuries, but I, I, the, the idea is that glass isn't isn't really a solid. It's it flows very slowly, so that if you have a glass window and it sits there for a century, it will eventually. Um, be thicker on the bottom of the window than at the top, but it doesn't move at a normal pace like you would think a liquid would. What is making that horrible sound? All right. Um. 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 The flicker, the bluish light. Uh, was that me saying that, or was that a memory? It's blocked from the other side. Okay, that's cool. Not the sound, mind you. Ju that's just... Ah! <laughs> anyway, so I got a note there. Let's see what the note says. Oh, I'm almost out of oil, so let's put some oil in our lantern. Uh, there. all the notes. That's not something we care about. Uh, Alright, Daniel's diary return one of two and two of two. Good, we found all that. Mementos, the door leading to the back room is blocked off. Find another way in. Alright, so, if I remember correctly... Yeah, I just... Move, no, move out of my way. No, that's not what I want. All right, well, let's see if just crouching now will get us in. It sounds like they're torturing dogs down here or something. That's just unnerving. Wow! What the heck? What is making that sound? Do I really want to know what is making that sound? Probably not. Alright, so there's some of that red goo, but this is the thing I'm moving towards is the kind of thing where you get oil. I feel like oil should be used as the camera in Outlast with flicking it on and off to conserve oil. Um, I don't, I don't think it's that limited of a resource. Um, plus, the fact is, this dude, if he's in the dark for very long, freaks out. He is, you'll notice his brain is like flaring red right there. He just goes insane, basically. Um, and you can use laudanum to help him, but light is much better. All right. 
All right, picked up a tinder box. Let's use a tinder box and put the lantern back down. Okay, so this is the trap door to the next level down. And the puzzle is we're trying to figure out how to lift it using that rope. Um, all right, what's in here? Oh, come on, open all the way. No, open. <sighs> Put the lantern down. Why are you not lifting? Jeez. All right, and there are two tinder boxes. Yay! Ah! Wow, that was not good. I should not have gotten that close to that stuff. I can't really tell if... I, the heart is kind of your health meter. That was loud, yes. <laughs> also, you're going insane fast. Well, yes, I am. Oh, you meant the character. Um, so, let's get these out of the way. Um, no. Here. I don't want you over here. Go over there. You too. Go over there. Well, Kevin is going insane a little bit as well. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I was going to say that myself. I, I think I got interrupted by the irritating barrels in my way. Um, all right. It's stuck. Something is clogging the crank and pulley contraption. Okay. Say, I told you it was a puzzle. It's not... Oh, it's this stick here. Um... All right. So... We need... This is one of those where you need to get up on a box. Because it's not going to let me take this box, though. So I need to get a different box. How about this box? There, this box will work. I'm pretty sure this box will work. I think I saw something happen in chat, but I'm busy with this box for the moment, so... There. Alright. Barrel. Well, y you can't use the side of a barrel. I suppose I could try... Um, it has to be upright, otherwise it will roll if you get on top of it. And manipulating these things is not easy. Anyway, there. Ah ha ha. Yeah, that was that was one of the easier puzzles for this game, I guess. All right, let's see if that does it. Did that lift it? Yes, it did. Wow. And in case you think it's less terrifying, down on the lower levels, no. That was a very simple puzzle, yes. Uh, there are there are much harder puzzles as you go along in here. That was, like, super simple. Okay, it wants me to crouch there. Oh, I have, must have uncrouched as I jumped down. Just love sounds like that. He says, being extremely sarcastic. Um, is there anything like? You can't really go there. Oh, I think what just happened is this red goo just grew in place here to prevent you from backtracking. Or is that not right? No, that's not right because this hole is still up here. I don't think you can climb up though. Ow! Oh, you can. All right. Um, whoa, I really need to stop touching that red goo. That was very bad. Well, at least my sanity looks okay. Um, 
<laughs> Amnesia games are, are meant for that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, my vision is kind of wonky right now. I don't know if that's to indicate I'm injured or... Oh, wow! Or what the deal is there. Cellar Archives! Yay! The amnesia with a pig one is a good one. So, I, I said this earlier. He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic waters smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. I said this, this earlier. The pigs! The pig-human hybrids in that creeped me out so much I really couldn't get into that game. I mean, just knowing that they were there was bad. Spooky! Morals game, yeah. Um... Whoa! What the heck? It all went black for a moment there. Like it went white and then it went black and then... Uh... Now that door's blocked off. And are we in water? Oh, we're in the water portion, guys. This is... I mean, I got into this. I didn't get past it, though. Uh, yeah. That's... That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Some sort of random thing flailing about in the water that you can't see? <laughs> That's just great. I'm so happy to be here. I... It's... Ah. <laughs> oh, yay. Let's hope that thing's gone away. Let's look at my inventory for a moment. Oh, I need to put more... Excuse me, I need to put more oil in my lantern. That's good. Oh, I used up all my oil. That's not good. Get on the boxes and maybe hug your wife if you can. <laughs> you may need it. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Laurel is downstairs and I am upstairs now. Uh, when I... When I stream on my PS4. Oh, that's just wonderful. It's right there or there-ish. Um, when, when I stream on my PS4, I'm upstairs. When I'm streaming on PC, I am downstairs. And you can tell when I'm streaming on, P streaming on PC, I use a cam. But uh, she doesn't like to be, like, close to me when I'm streaming because she's watching the stream and she gets like this weird echo effect. Tell Laurel, it's Laurel, not Laurel. Lo it's Laurel, not Laura, by the way, to come up so you can hug her. <laughs> uh, Laurel, chat thinks that you should come up here so you can hug me, but it's dark so you might stumble over stuff. I see, this is the problem. I'm not sure what to do here. I did get further than this last time. I know that. I got, like, into the watering area. But I'm just terrified of whatever's going on in the water. I was going to go upstairs to get a snack or something, maybe. I suppose I could hug Kevin, too. Maybe. All right. Well. See, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because I keep hearing this thing. Sloshing around. Whoa! Um... Wow! This is not good. And I think I need to get over to this. Is everything red because I'm so badly injured? I think so. Yes, my heart is now, like, throbbing red. I think that was actually important. Can you light your lantern? Yes, stay on boxes. Unfortunately, I don't think... I don't think I can stay on them. Oh, looks like parts of a skeleton there. I don't think I can stay on the boxes. The distances between the boxes is too large. Um...
Uh, this is just... I mean, you can see why this... <laughs> this is where... Not, not very far beyond this is where I... I had a hard time and stopped because... Oh my goodness, this is scary and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm getting injured. Um, and this thing keeps coming at me and I can't see it. I don't know what's going on up there. Um, let me, I need to look at, what I do need to do is look at the options because there is a run option for, yeah, so run is L2. Um, oh, my wife is here. Excuse me a moment. Okay, I am back. I have had a hug from my wife. <clears throat> All right, so I got to remember L2 is run because uh, I'm trying to adjust my microphone. Uh, I am definitely going to need to do some running in here. I don't know what this um, thing is doing, but oh great, now there's like a hair on my microphone. I set it down. And everything in the house has cat hair and is some on it. I'll be right back. All right. So, run towards the box. Jump on the box. There. All right, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going. It's like red, yeah, I, you know, I, maybe I was supposed to go that other way. Nope, nope. Ah! No, this is not working. Oh my goodness. Um, once again, I'm very injured. I'm just going to wait here for a moment. Let's try that. Oh, that seemed to help. At least a little. Um, am I going the right way? I don't know. door there. I bet it's locked. Alright. It's a heavy gate. Which it will allow me to somewhat lift, but not all the way. That's awesome. I am so happy. I am so glad he's done like I really do. Where is that? It was a uh, like offshoot corridor or something. Oh, that's not good. 
keep out of the water. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks, game. I know. I know I should keep out of the water. Where am I now? Am I in the water? Okay, I'm back here. I was on a box. Game. I was definitely on that box. No, get up on this box. There you go. Uh. All right. <laughs> Something. What's following you anyway? Uh, something that's in the water and do, does a splishy splash. We do not like it. Made it! <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it yet. Siren? I... Yeah, I, I think that's supposed to be more like a screaming sound, not really a siren sound. Okay, so... How am I doing on... Yeah, all that's all used up. My lantern is almost out of oil. And... No, up on the box! Up on the box! Thank you! Very good game! Ha 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 ha! So, you know, almost having a heart attack, that's fine, right? Oh, and it's dark now, so that's awesome! I'm on a box! Where? Avoid looking at enemies for too long, it will drain your sanity, and you will eventually be seen. Keep out of the water. Well, you can see why this is the area that I didn't get past. Because I've run out of oil. <laughs> so I can't see anything. I can't go back. Um. Alright. No, no. Come on, grab it. Do that. <sighs> oh. Oh, great. But there's like a little offshoot corridor over th over here. Oh, this is bad. This is not where I want to be. All right, nope. Get back up on the box. Up on the box. There. Um. Awesome. I really wish I could see stuff in here. So. Um. Well, this might help a little, but um There. That helped me a little. No, I didn't want to crouch. I... You know, I have a feeling that, that I'm missing a part of, like, the puzzle or something. Like that, I'm supposed to do that lever, and then it deals with the heavy gate, supposedly, and... Go away, water monster! Just not doing the timing right or something. But this is very frustrating. Because I remember this kind of. I remember this as, as, as causing me to fail. Please do not have a heart attack. Uh, 
Well, okay, I'll try. It's okay to look at look things up too, friend. If you must, it is not a bad thing. Sometimes it's still hard to execute if you know how to do it. Yeah. Um Okay. So, calm down, this creepy monster thing. Oh my goodness! No, get up on the box. Dang it. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on. You're... Oh. Wow. Nope. No calm. Only go fast. Well, I tried to jump up on a box and it was not having it. It was just not, not doing it right. So... I am getting a little frustrated here. I think I've been at this about two hours so far. Box denied you access. Yes. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to save it here um, and exit, and uh, I'll be done for tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody uh, who came to the stream. Uh, if you have enjoyed this stream and you are not already following me on Twitch, please give me a follow if you enjoyed this <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Mister. If you have enjoyed this uh, stream later after I've uploaded it to YouTube, uh, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it. Horror games can cause you to be pissed more off than MK11. Yeah, kind of. Uh, it's, it's more like stress, I think, right now. If you didn't like this video on YouTube, click the dislike button. But either way, please leave a comment letting me know what you did or did not like about this video. My next stream... Oh, I completely missed the Daft Pool cheered. It didn't show up on my activity feed on my phone at all. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to thank him the next time he's here uh my next stream will be uh tomorrow night saturday night i will be playing doom starting at uh i'm not exactly sure but i'm thinking maybe later than usual possibly as late as uh, <laughs> 11 p.m central time is is my my guess for when i will be playing that but uh I, I hope to see everybody there. Uh, have a good night, everyone, and uh, see you in the future. Um, sorry, it's, uh, it's uh, Doom 2016. Uh, so, yeah, the newer Doom, not the old OG Doom.